Okay, so we're at Epcot this morning. We actually managed to make it here for rope drop. So we're sitting here, can't really see because, well, I'm too short. Um, and we're a little place back in the crowd. <laughs> Good morning, it's the GU Rules coming at you today from Epcot Center. Here we go. Spaceship Earth, I can finally gaze upon you with my own eyes. Are you excited? Yes. Little buddy, are you excited? Are you excited? You ready to go inside? <laughs> yes, Daddy. I am ready to go inside. Look at the size of that thing. We're here for rope drop. A lot of people lining up already. Ready to enter for the day. Park opens at 9 a.m. in about 15 minutes. And we're here amongst the, amongst the first. Hi, so we're at Epcot this morning. We actually managed to make it here for rope drop. So we're sitting here, can't really see because, well, I'm too short. Um, and we're a little place back in the crowd. Um, but we're listening to, to a drum line play and we're just all waiting for the rope to drop so we can actually go into the park. So park opens at 9. We got in line for the bus between 7.45 and 8. And that's what we're here for is to be some of the first people into the park. One of the first like, you know, 10 million people into the park. <laughs> there's a lot of people here. Happy the anniversary. Park. Almost. Almost anniversary. We managed to get a little bit closer. <coughs> Up at the front of the line they're playing the drums for the crowd. It's about to get buck wild up in here. It's about to get buck wild up in here. <laughs> it's about to get buck wild up in here. Here we go, rope drop. First stop, breakfast. Sunshine seasons. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good, don't it? You want some of daddy's coffee? You want some of daddy's coffee? No? Living with the land. Rainforests are also extremely rich in productive living systems, providing us with oxygen, food, medicine, and other elements essential to our living system. And while this arid landscape may seem lifeless, it is very much alive. Welcome to our living laboratory, where scientists from Epcot and the U.S. Department of Agriculture are exploring innovative ways to produce bountiful harvests now and into the future. Look at the snowman, buddy. Little snow family. <laughs> Many of these, like papaya, bananas, cacao, coffee, and rice, are well known around the world. These are just a few of the edible plants that have been an important source of nutrition for people living in the tropics. Many are rich in vitamins and minerals, while others are well adapted to growing in less than ideal conditions. Some, like the water lily, thrive in wet, swampy areas and waterways. All parts of this plant, even the flower petals, are edible. The starchy root of the plant has long been used to make flour for baking. One day, many of these lesser-known tropical plants may be as important as the bananas growing on both sides of the boat. More than 28 million tons of bananas are eaten annually making it the most popular fruit in the world. In the wild. Look in here, buddy. But fish farming, or aquaculture, 
accounts for nearly half of all the seafood consumed globally. Tilapia, bass, and catfish, oh, wow. like the ones you see Look here, are three of the more popular crops raised by fish farmers. The sustainable system we're using here recycles the water in the tanks. As Look at the result, fish. Big Look at those fish. Millions of gallons each year. Our small fish farm produces nearly 5,000 pounds of fish each year to serve in restaurants around Walt Disney World. Innovations like this one can play an important role in our efforts to produce powerful harvests. While there are more than 50,000 edible plant species in the world, most of us are only familiar with the handful that make up our everyday diet. The common grains growing here, wheat, maize, sorghum, and millet, plus rice, account for nearly two-thirds of our global food consumption. Learning how to increase yields of these staples is an important goal of research around the world. Mm-hmm. Tequila. Integrated pest management program. By populating our greenhouses with Even at Disney World, they have chili. that prey on harmful pests like aphids and flies, we are significantly reducing our Snake reliance board. on conventional pesticides. Yeah, those look we're growing these crops using our nutrient film system. This technique precisely look controls the and recycles water and nutrients. We can they increase yields and better control diseases. Wow. These crops taste as good as they look. In fact, How's your pumpkin we serve hanging? more than 15 tons of produce from our greenhouses in restaurants here at the land every year. 